What you're making DIYers, it's Walker with DIY.life. And in this episode, we are taking a look at the Insta360 Go 3. First things first, let's get this thing out of the box. And I think I just found the uh, the way to open this. I was just about to tear it open all the way around, but I noticed this flips up and I think you just... Maybe this goes like that, and that goes like that, and then what? You still gotta... Okay. There it is. The Insta360 Go 3, right here. Go 3 makes me think that there was a Go 1 and a, possibly a Go 2 at some point. I don't recall those, maybe I just don't remember, but I've been an Insta360 customer for two and a half years now. Started when I got the uh, X2 here and I love it. It's a great little camera. In fact, you would think that I have so much Insta360 stuff, you would think that I'm some kind of influencer that does work for them and, you know, gets free product and all that good stuff. But nay, I buy all this stuff because I love this company and I love these products. They're great. Now, if Insta360 were to reach out to me and be like, hey, Walker, I would be very excited to do a review on the X3 and uh, maybe compare it advantages to the X2 and uh, that kind of stuff. So if it's a 360, if you're watching and sounds interesting to you, sounds interesting to me. All right, let's get in here. I got the kit that comes with a quick release mount and I thought I got the one that came with the, the visor clip and stuff for your hat clips on your hat maybe it's inside let's take a look yeah it says that there's an easy clip inside which I think is like the hat clip I kind of plan on using the hat clip a lot because I wear hats like pretty much every day so a hat clip would be convenient to be able to do things with my hands and have the camera like right there. Ooh, look at her. Look at her. She's just looking right back at me. Hi. Okay. So we've got a, a quick user guide here, setting up the camera. Got some more papers and such. This is the dock and monitor. It also gives you an extended battery life. Oh yeah, here's the hat clip. See how this thing, it's just kind of pressure clipped. Right on there like that. Let's see, how do I, oh. I'm like, how do I get, how do I get the camera out of here? And it's just, it's, it's magnetized. It's got a magnet on the back which means you can, you know, stick it on anything metal and it'll, it'll stay put. But they put a little piece of metal inside the, the box here, so it just kind of sits there. That's clever. So the idea being that you can just... Oh yeah, that's better. There's definitely a, a direction. It seems to stick better with the lens on this side. Yeah, and that feels pretty secure. Let's see what happens. Let's just power this thing on. Will it turn on? And we'll get hot during use, avoid prolonged direct skin contact. That's interesting. It gets warm, it says. Take that off. And we got a we got a little piece of plastic here for the lens guard. Keep the lens. 
actually I'm realizing this doesn't have a lens cap or anything, does it? Here's the, um, the pendant mount that you drop down under your shirt and then you can just snap the, the camera right on that. Here's a little tabletop mount suction. Oh wait, no, is this magnetic? What is this? I'm not sure what that is. That's another mount of some sort. We can put this thing on, on anything. In fact, two things I want to do with this camera real quick before um, we end this video is I want to recreate the, uh, <laughs> the famous coffee cup shot that uh, Casey Nestat did when he reviewed this camera. I just love that shot and I always uh, wanted to do that shot. And also I saw a video where somebody stuck it on their dog. So Remy, Remy, are you down for being in the video? You want to take a little bit of video with the uh, Go 3 here? Sound good? All right, we'll do that in a minute. You get ready. You just lay there and get ready. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any kind of um, protection for this lens. So you're going to want to be careful, kind of like with the 360 camera. It's a little exposed. It doesn't necessarily, doesn't seem to protrude like a 360 camera lens does from the edge, but still, I wonder if these are, if this lens cover is removable and replaceable. That would be interesting to find out. I want to find that out at some point. Um, yeah, there's probably some kind of charging cable in here, I would assume. Amongst all of the warranties and stickers and guides, some silica. What is this? It's a little rubber wedge. Okay, so this goes on the pendant. This will help angle the camera at a slight downward angle. Otherwise, the camera's going straight out when you're, you know, typically doing stuff with your hands. You want it to be pointed down slightly. That's kind of clever solution to, uh, to a little problem there. All right, so this comes out, and it's got some contact points on the back, and those match up with the contact points in the housing here. The whole thing just snaps in magnetically. You've got your flip-out screen. These two can be separated. And you can actually, it'll actually transmit the image of the camera to this unit while they're, you know, separated. I don't know what the distance is. It's probably only, you know, maybe 20 or 30 feet, but. Okay. I'm going to leave this. Actually, I got to take this with me. I'm going to put this here. I'm just going to set this here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go out the, door, I guess I'll go walk that way and see how far I can go before it loses signal. So I'm probably at, I don't know, 10 feet, about 20 feet away, still got a signal. I, I'm still in direct line of sight of the camera, maybe that makes a difference. I'm about 30 feet away. Oh wow, now I'm about 40 feet away. Still got a signal. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably almost 50 feet away and I still got a signal. So I think having a line of sight to the camera, not having any obstructions in the way probably helps with the transmission of the signal. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Nice. Okay, let's Let's take our first video here. Please download the Insta360 app in the App Store to activate your camera. Oh, I can't record anything until I activate the camera with the app. So they're forcing you to download the app right away. So let's do that. All right, give me a second. And when I go to the Insta360 app, it wants to connect. Oh, I see it listed the Go3 here. Okay, so it wants to do a firmware update like right away. So that's what we're doing. It's downloading pretty quickly. It's already 50%. Will it finish? Yes, we have reached 100%. Updated successfully. Go through. Go 3 will automatically restart. 
Okay, now that it's got the new firmware installed, it's restarting itself. We will choose English as our language. Oh, we have to go through this um, tutorial again. Swipe left, sure, slide right. Okay, got it. Now, can we please finally record our first video? Oh gosh, it says download the Insta360 app, reconnect to device. If you're the kind of person that hates all this technical connectivity issues and blah, 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 just be warned, there's a little bit of this involved with setting this up the first time. Activation, activated. Done. Okay, now can I hit record? Learn the button functions. Arrow, shutter button. Press the shutter button to take, okay, skip. I just want to record a video. There we go. We're live. We are rolling. Hmm. One thing I'm noticing is there is a slight, oh look, now I got it on my, my phone here. All right, let's stop that. I'm looking, and this could be the, um, this could be the stabilization, but it seems to have a little bit of a lag between, you know, moving the camera and what you're seeing on the screen. I don't know if you can, if you can see that lag that I'm talking about. It probably has to do with the stabilization. It's trying to like make it all smooth and flowy. How does it sound? Here, let's switch to this camera. Let's switch to the audio of this camera. Hi, this is the Go3 audio. How do I sound? Am I covering the microphone hole? I have no idea. I don't know where it is. Compared to the X2, this is the X2 microphone built in. How do I sound here? And then this obviously is the lapel mic. This should sound fantastic and amazing. And there's Remy. Remy, you ready to put this thing on and run around? Let's do it, buddy. All right, I've got it on your collar. Let's get your fur. Let's tuck your fur in. Your fur is not in the way. And then, all right, let's give this a try. I think it might work a little bit better if there's something that could make it a little bit higher up off of his neck. This could be an interesting angle. Can you see where he's going? From here, it kind of looks like it's just pointed in to his fur. Oh, did you see a lizard, Remy? Is that a lizard? Did you guys see a lizard? Oh, there's a hummingbird. I mean, look, a hummingbird. We just returned from a little walk where I had this on Remy and he was running around. You know, it doesn't feel... I just hit the button again, now it's recording. Hi. Very sensitive little button there. It'll just start recording with, with the slightest little brush. And I, I thought I pushed it again to turn it off, but it didn't register. So it's funny. Just be mindful of that, it's, a, it's touchy. Yeah, let's try to do the, uh, the old coffee shot. Let's get a, let's get a cup of some, some bevy in it. The only thing I have to drink here is this weird it's called shenanigan. Shenanig shenanigram? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sh shenanigram. Shenanigram? Shenanigram. It's a peach soda. I think it's Chinese. It was gifted to me. So, all right, so let's give this a shot. So we're going to take the, um, the Go3. I'm going to plop it right in the... Uh, right in the cup there, kind of put it in the center so it gets kind of a nice... <sighs> now the other part of the shot 
is you gotta actually stick this thing in your mouth. So let's give that a shot. Oh. You can't really close your lips around it, so it, it makes it really hard to drink. But it worked. Now this thing's probably all sticky. So, Insta360 Go. Three. I'm excited for it. I'm excited to take it out and have some fun with it and get some crazy shots that I would never be able to get with like a GoPro or my 360 camera. It's so small, it can pretty much go anywhere. Get that like interesting point of view from uh, just unexpected areas. And the fact that it's all magnetic and it can, I mean, I can just, if I wanted another camera to be recording me, well, you know, I just stick it right on the light stand there and boom, it's going. It's just, it's so versatile. Versatile. I like it. I think I'm gonna really like this. If you wanna know the real deal about the three, just kidding. If you have any questions or comments about the X3, no, it's not an X3, it's a Go3. If you have any questions or comments about the Go3, please leave them below. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And we, well, we'll see you next time. A, O, let's go. Three, A, O, let's go. Wake me up before you go three. Could, could be something there.